Uno de los pocos hispanos que ha logrado ingresar a los medios de comunicación canadienses, específicamente MTV, es Juan González Calcaneo. Él forma parte del staff del polémico show One Girl, Five Gays. Conozcamos más de Juan en Hispanos en Canadá. Then I started randomly applying for universities. I got into my first choice for film, and I decided to stay the four years. It just everything really worked out. And I mean, after that, it's been now 10 years that I've been here. And some of our priorities, I would say, are like family, friends, um, a sense of humor. And I think that all comes through with my story. Like whenever I talk about Mexico, I'll be like, something hilarious my aunt did, or my grandmother said, or my uncle did, or my best friends. I've said that before, I'm Mexican. My parents hit me when I was a child. I love them. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the same. It's true, if you're in Spain. I guess here, here in Canada, I never, I never really thought of me being like a Latino person or a Hispanic person on TV. I never labeled myself that. But as soon as we entered the U.S. market and then we started playing in the U.S., I have this like, huge gay and Latino community that like, identifies with me on TV. And that's why I have this weird thing in my house where I walk around in flip-flops, and it's like a really, really Mexican thing for me too, because I grew up in flip-flops, and I love flip-flops. I don't care what people say. Mexico's changing a lot. I'm sure there's been some opposition, and the Catholic Church is the main one. That, But when I come to think about it, like we don't have, or maybe we don't pay attention to them because we have bigger news, but we don't have these great, like huge, organized hate groups. In my experience, with all of my friends, all my family, like it's amazing. So I love the arts and everything related. So like I was a volunteer at the National Ballet of Canada for like two years. Um, then I was a volunteer for the Contact Photo Festival, and that was pretty fun too. And you have to remember too that like, when you come here to Canada, Canada is a country of immigrants. So everybody, to create that Canadian culture, the mainstream Canadian culture, everybody had to adapt to it. I was really anti-Twitter. Um, I really didn't get it. I started using it as text message or being just really narcissistic, just saying something with myself. And eventually I started just following a lot of people that I admire. And because of the show, I'm like getting now, I mean, I don't even know how I have, like, I think I have like 7,000 followers now on Twitter, which to me is crazy. Pueden ver a Juan en MTV Canadá todos los viernes a las 11 de la noche hora este. Para hispanos en Canadá, Memo Herrera.